I don't know why we're more than $14 trillion in debt. Maybe this is why. A new report shows the U.S. National Institute of Health recently gave more than $90 million in taxpayer funds to China for some really bizarre projects. Those projects include $2 million bucks just to study the effects of Chinese parasites and more than $150 grand to study acupuncture. Andrea Lafferty is the president of the Traditional Values Coalition, and she actually did the study and found... You did the math, Andrea. We were talking about math, but <laughs> you were the one who had to break out the calculator, and you had to ha find one that had millions, right? Right. Good morning. Um, yeah, you know, we had one reporter say the Traditional Values Coalition did the work of government investigators, and we did. We've had... We've done a recent study the last six months um, of what the National Institutes of Health was spending lo um, nationally here in the United States, so that was half a billion that we found, as well as spending, giving money to Red China. We, you know, and the, and, um, they've given $90 million to the Chinese CDC. They've given $30 million to Chinese researchers in Chinese institutes. All right, here's a statement from the NIH. Quote, diseases don't respect borders. Globalization has increased the movement of people and products around the world, so diseases can spread more quickly. Americans benefit enormously from research that has taken place around the world. There is no question that is absolutely true. But China, who holds most of our debt and whose fiscal uh, health is far better than ours, is that the country where we should be providing $90 million? Well, Traditional Values Coalition is not opposed to hard science, but we also, uh, and we, we as an American people are compassionate and want to help people with malaria and starving children in Africa. But that is not what this is about, and yet again, the NIH is being deceitful and trying to cover their tracks. What is global about paying for a Chinese researcher to come here to be trained better on in acupuncture and MRI? I think that's actually well, humorous. Well, Chinese isn't people it global, acupuncture. though? Can't these diseases come here very easily? Well, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about spending money uh, studying prostitutes in China. Gretchen, some of these girls had their sexual debut at 11 years old. Mm -hmm. As mothers, we know that's not anything but rape. Mm -hmm. um, we are spending t tax dollars to treat these women that, and children who have been sex trafficked. Mm -hmm. Treat them like animals, not rescue them. Well, this also, is not about global health. But you also point out that the National Institute of Health is national, uh, not, not international. And then the final thing I would just say is, is, do you look at China as a third world country or a country that's nipping at our heels that actually needs our cash? That's, you know what, they hold 1.1 trillion of our debt. I don't think they're a third world country, and yes, they're nipping at our heels. Why are we sending our money to train their scientists and researchers? We need to do that here. Mm -hmm. um, but we're not opposed to like setting things like the bird, bird flu. Mm -hmm. the, again, right. the NIH is a bunch of nameless, faceless bureaucrats spending a lot of OPM, other people's money. And we're <laughs> saying no more. All right, Andrea Lafferty, the president of Traditional Values Coalition, who did the study. Thanks so much for explaining to, it to us Thank today. Thank you. All right, coming up.